It's a daily struggle for students at the Osudoku Senior High Technical School at Asuchari as they struggle with the fumes from the recycling company close to their school. The emission from this company, Shine Fuel, which pollutes their environment, exposes them to various health conditions. The Chinese company recycles waste papers into egg crates and toilet rolls as well as waste rubbers into plastics. My name is Luisa Sinamechi and I'm a student of Usitek Sinai, a proud student of Usitek Sinai. But it seems to a time that came say the shine full smoke has been disturbing us a lot. Some of our boys, they, those who sleep in the dormitories are very close to the factory. So in, in times of things, they are easily affected with the smoke. And they are often sent to hospitals and are being asked if they smoke. But that's not the case. They always suffer from those. They can cough all the time. They don't feel for food. They feel dizzy. It has been causing us. They are tired of us with air. I thought of Shai is it's really affecting it. If it's, if it's uh, free education, we don't understand why we should be highly infected with this smoke that can damage our lungs, our pancreas, and hey, brother, yes. it's plenty yes. things. Anymore. Yes. We are dying of shy fuel. This is too long. We have to stop this. They are not stopping it. We are suffering. When we yes. go to the clinic, what they are telling us that we are smoking. Meanwhile, we don't know how to smoke. Oh, yes. Even myself, I don't know how to hold we. Yes. I mean, you know. You know and we are, we are tired. It's enough. Yes. Yes. It's enough. The students want the school relocated to its new site just across the street. The school's new site has several classroom blocks that City News understands are not being utilized. On Thursday, City News rushed to the school after it emerged that a student had collapsed as a result of the prevailing situation. But the headmaster was not happy about the presence of the media. It was, however, obvious that the students had suffered enough and were willing to voice out their concerns. The students say they are planning to embark on a demonstration to draw attention to their plight. We have a problem that shine for polluting us. Since then, you don't have a. You are not able to learn when the smoke comes. So our students decide that we will have a demonstration. We are going to the factory. We are going straight to the factory to tell them to stop it. We are going straight to the factory. Aside from the students, members of the teaching staff and non-teaching staff say they have also had enough of the situation. They are however unable to speak to City News for the fear of victimization. This premises houses the boys' dormitory and according to them, they can barely breathe at night. They allege that they have contracted serious respiratory diseases as a result of the fumes from the factory. We the students here are suffering. Yes, I we with the boys here. Especially the boys, you know, when uh, it's time for prep, you cannot even have confidence that yes, some people even collapse. Yesterday, cry a certain girl was even crying, so uh, maybe she has a, an asthma. So yesterday she went to. Always, always the problem of Shine Fuel. Management of Shine Fuel Company Limited, who offered to take us on a tour of their facility to show us the numerous interventions put in place to mitigate the problem, says further steps are being taken to address the current concerns being raised by the school. Mr. John Juwanu is the operations manager of the company. The historical fact of this place is that it was an industrial area, the Ghana Sugar Estates Limited. So the, the school was here just by default. I mean, because at a point in time when the school was, the population was increasing, that particular block was there and people were vandalizing, they were removing the roofing sheets and other uh, parts of the building. So the school came in just to occupy the place temporarily. So uh, if you look at uh, our position, we are a little bit down and the school is up. So uh, no matter how you raise the chimney, definitely when there's a change in the wind, there will be some, a little bit of diversion to the side, which is not permanent. It's, it happens just uh, between some two to three minutes. So um, since we addressed that issue, last uh, week Friday, uh, the headmaster drew my attention that the smoke was coming again. So we all came to look at the problem, and we noticed that there was a third boiler house that uh, was constructed recently. 
and uh, we use fire, firewood. Uh, they could have some moisture because they are not well dry. So we actually told uh, the supervisor that they should make sure that firewoods that are fed into the oven are well dry so that it will remove, it will reduce the, the smoke that goes to the school. Mr. Juwonu says Shine Fuel Company has constructed a six-unit classroom block for the school at their new site ahead of a planned relocation. We've learned a lot within the community. I mean, the school community. Outside the, the school, the community, the township, we've done a whole lot of uh, support. So, uh, as a corporate organization, we would not like to... Uh, do anything to damage the environment. We know that children must live in a very good environment so that uh, they would be able to grow up responsibly. We have also constructed a six classroom unit block for them. Uh, I think Golden Resort is also provided with a science lab. Despite the company's effort, the fact remains that the excessive emissions from this recycling plant is not only affecting teaching and learning, but having dire consequences on the health of students and teachers at the Osudo Senior High Technical School. But the big question is, why is the school not ready to relocate to the new site? So there is a sad situation here which um, students have to contend with. They are appealing that something must be done immediately. And they are threatening to embark on a demonstration if nothing is done. For City News, my name is Elvis Washington, reporting from Asuchari.